What's up guys, it's your boy Spidey Studios here and today I am back with another movie trailer reaction for the channel. This is Venom, The Last Dance, official trailer released by Marvel Entertainment. So, um, I had heard a rumor that we were supposed to get the Venom trailer soon because I know it's supposed to come out this year, but I didn't know when and I didn't know what, what, what the plot of this movie was gonna be about. And I heard some plots that people have said are like leaks or have said it could be the plot of the movie. And I'm not gonna lie, they all kind of suck. <laughs> Especially the one that has been like making the rounds recently, which I'm not gonna say until like the end of this trailer, just in case it's true. But it sounds really stupid. Um, and I mean, what can I expect? It's a Sony, it's a Sony Spider-Man spin-off movie. The last three have been like terrible. Like Venom, Let There Be Carnage was a decent movie that could have been better. It should have been rated R, but it is what it is. Then we got Morbius, which is a colossal waste of everyone's time. And it's just a dumpster fire of a movie. And Morbius as a character is not a popular enough character, even if you put Jared Leto in it, to get his own movie. He's just not, I'm sorry. And then we had Madame Web earlier this year, which I should have suspected that movie was gonna be trash, considering that we only got one trailer for that movie. One trailer, and like several different TV spots, and that was it. And then that movie came out on Valentine's Day, which, yeah, no, I was not gonna waste my Valentine's Day to go see it. And I didn't see it, and I still haven't. And I've heard people talk about it, I've heard people's thoughts on it, and everybody just can collectively agree that it's a waste of everyone's time. The movie should not have been made. And now we're gonna get, Craven the Hunter is getting a movie this year, and I've said it previously, it's dumb that that's the only Marvel Sony movie that's gonna be rated R, and it's Craven the Hunter, when Morbius or Venom should have been rated R, but I digress. But also, as much as I enjoyed John Taylor Johnson, or uh, Taylor Johnson, or whatever his name is, um, as much as I enjoy him as an actor, after seeing Kraven in Spider-Man 2, the video game, I don't see any other version of the character topping that for me. But I mean, I'm willing to be surprised, but at the same time, it's still a Sony Marvel movie, so it could still suck. And then now we have Venom 3. Now, granted, I loved the first one. Should have been rated R, but I still thought it was really good. Then the second one took more of a comedic approach, which I did not like that it did. Especially with the villain that was going to be the focus of the movie, who is a damn horrible, satanic cre like creature of a character. And it was just a goofy comedy movie, and I just didn't like that that's what they went with. And now this one. Just based off of the plot leaks that I've heard, sounds terrible. But I guess we're going to have to see. So, I'm going into this with not huge expectations. I'm going into this trailer not expecting anything grand or amazing or whatever. And considering that this trailer is three minutes long, they're damn near probably gonna give us a majority of the plot in this movie, in this trailer. So, I guess we'll see. But I do like Tom Hardy. I think Tom Hardy is a great Eddie Brock, and I do love the Venom design in this. Just wish that he had the damn spider symbol on it. But, I mean, it is what it is. But I, I, I do like Tom Hardy, and I do like Venom's design. And despite the fact that the movie is a bit more comedic, I do like Eddie and... Venom's relationship in this. So I'll be curious to see how this movie goes. I'll be curious to see if this is gonna be another Madam Web or if it's just gonna be a solidly enjoyable movie. We'll have to wait and see. But without further ado, I wanna check out what this trailer has given us. So without further ado, let's start. You should probably know it. This is where you I left off. Have a really dark and unpredictable side to me. Yeah, so this is when. Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say what? When? <laughs> Please don't kill the dogs. Oh, damn, okay. Never mind. We are. We are. We 
No. Like it takes place right after Spider Man No Way Home and the symbiotes. Oh, it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get them. So they know about Eddie and the symbiote, so they're trying to capture it so that humanity doesn't know that. On the run, in the shit. We are living the dream, my friend. You mean it? No. Huh. Oh, what is she doing there? <laughs> there has to be a reason they're after us. Oh, okay. Eddie, my own, has found us. Oh, yeah, all these people are gonna die, bro. There's an army coming that cannot be beaten. As long as they're left, they're oh, that left. Everything. With that character oh, behind. We may not make it out of this alive, buddy. Eddie. The time has come. Think you can get that thing to go without killing it? Only one way to find out. Oh. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that was the trailer. Um. Wasn't too spectacular it wasn't bad either but i do feel like we got a lot in this trailer um it seems like the major focus of this is okay this movie takes place right after spider-man no way home based off that one scene i saw it seems like the symbiote that was in the mcu is not in the mcu and it was taken by the government in the sony movie which I'm assuming is now a plot inconsistency because that doesn't make any sense, but okay. And then it also seems like, um, yeah, like this. This was in the MCU, but now it's not, I guess? I don't know, that's an inconsistency. So if, if this is the case, does that mean we're not gonna get the symbiote in Spider-Man 4? Because I kind of defeat that whole purpose of that po post credit scene, if that's the case. But maybe it's a parallel universe where they capture it, and in, in the main Spider-Man universe, they don't? I don't know. Who knows? But that guy, that's the actor who plays, um, what's his name in Doctor Strange? Um, Mordo, Baron Mordo, who teaches Doctor Strange. Um, I forgot he was going to be in this movie. Um, and it seems like his portion of this film is that the government is trying to make sure that nobody knows that aliens exist, so they're trying to keep it under wraps. Okay, it seems like something the government would do. Then, it seems like they had other symbiotes too, which I'm wondering how, because the only symbiotes that we saw were the ones at the beginning of the movie that first appeared, but most of them died off. So, unless that one shot where we saw all the meteors coming are new symbiotes that they captured, I don't know. And it seems like they're going more with the monstrous look for them and they're not possessing humans like Venom. So, it seems like the symbiotes have now discovered that Venom's on Earth and didn't complete his mission to conquer Earth, so they're coming to kill him. And the government is trying to make sure that the public doesn't know about the symbiotes. Okay. Okay, it, it, it doesn't seem like an interesting plot, or it doesn't seem like anything too spectacular for this to be the final movie of this series. But I guess they're going all out with having more symbiotes in this, so cool? But I don't know. 
I don't really know what to think of this. It's not bad. It's not great. It's okay. Might be a movie I might see, but I don't know for sure. Um, who knows? But I know that Sony is considering doing an animated Venom movie, which probably would be better than the live action stuff they're doing, to be honest with you. So if they are going to do animated, it probably saves everybody's time to just watch that instead of this. But that's just me. I'll probably still watch this, though, because I did like the first one. The second one was pretty decent, but it wasn't fantastic. And I didn't like Carnage all that much. I liked his design, but I didn't like that he wasn't able to be rated R. Um, and I didn't like the goofier approach they took. And it seems like with this, it's going to be goofier too, but also slightly serious, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I don't know if it's going to be a flop or not. Probably might be. I don't know. I hope it's good. That's all I can ask for. I hope this movie is good. I love Venom. I love Tom Hardy as the character. I love the design. But the movies have been kind of mid to me. So we'll have to see if this is just another mid movie and this is probably just a mid franchise. I don't know. But I hope it's good. That's all I can ask for. I hope it's good. Um, so without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this trailer. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it's mid? Do you think this trailer is good? Do you think the movie's going to be good? I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Hit the subscribe button to be part of the community. And hit bell notifications so you guys know when I shall post next. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.